Can I hear a noise out here? <laughs> hey, the hot sauce fell out of the fridge. It broke. <laughs> it's, this entire room smells like something. I'm chugging iced coffee to cope. International Delight sponsor us. I'm covered in hot sauce. This preset is called funny. Kyle? That's pretty funny. <laughs> I can't even think of like just the worst rats. Sammy Bob's keyboard, really cool. I like my keyboard that I got from Savers. Yeah. And answer. Awesome. We had to beg for questions. Ben Mayer asks, do you like jazz? I played a lot of jazz. I'm not sure what jazz is. I got an award for playing jazz trumpet. A Louis Armstrong award. Oh, Captain World War II asks, how do you find the inspiration to continue making content? We don't. We don't usually. <laughs> what content? What content? Uh... I mean, like, the more legit answer is go somewhere and do something and just turn on the camera and press the record button and eventually something will happen that will you'll go, oh, that's that's visually interesting. Let me go over here. Like, what is most, most of our episodes are just, like, going to the grocery store. Get up and do something. Yeah, that's about it. Just you do just it. hit go and then you let it happen. They also ask, what editing software do you use for the videos? And that's Sony Vegas. Sony Vegas. Sometimes we'll do a couple fancy things in After Effects for whatever reason. Why do you use Sony Vegas, Ben? Because it's way cheaper than paying monthly for yeah. Premiere. I hate that, because I, I don't know if you knew this, but I'm a photographer. <laughs> But I hate the pay monthly thing. I hate it so much. Yeah, I've seen you looking for alternatives to Lightroom. I like Lightroom, but it's, I hate, I just want to have it. Vegas versus Premiere, they're just different. They do the same things. If you're working in an environment with a ton of people collaborating, Premiere is the most regularly used one since Would Final you... Cut started going Toys R Us on us, <laughs> Fisher Price. Would you suggest Vegas over Premiere. If you get it on if the you are, for 20 bucks, yes. If you are getting into video editing and you want to learn the basics and you can get it in a humble bundle for like 20 bucks, yeah, 100%. If you're lucky. Yeah, it's like every time a new one comes out, a year later it's on the humble bundle. Right. So, and they got bought up by what, Magix? Magix. So yes. Sony sold it? It's not Sony Vegas, it's Magix Vegas. Magix. But it's Vegas and it's it does the job. That's what we all use because we all got it in the humble bundle. <laughs> <laughs> that way we could share projects, which we did for like the 10 episodes that Wimble subtitled. What equipment do you use for the videos? That. That's pretty basic. We use a Panasonic GH5 and our computers to edit. <laughs> Look at that. Look, at it's you. Panasonic Lumix GH5 on a Leica 8 to 18 lens. We got a, a Rode Video video Micro. I've seen a ton of like high profile vloggers use that because it's, it's small, it's cheap, it's pretty good. If it breaks, you just buy a new one. The video mic's fine. It's good. I saw Peter McKinnon use it, and I think I saw Kai W using it. Back there is that video light that Rick bought, the RGB oh, one. Oh, yeah. You, you can see a few episodes ago. Because that thing is dying. And then we got a big old LED panel boxy nonsense thing that How takes up old is the whole it? plug. It's, we got it in 2014. We bought two of them, $100 each from Amazon, and the first one we had died in a day. And somehow this one is still barely kicking. If you look at it, you can see there's like lines of LEDs that yeah, are let me just. <laughs> we'll, we'll, we'll put this picture in. Oh, Young Productions has some questions. First question, how do you make your moving shots so smooth? GH5 in body stabilization. This is, well, it's a combination of things. One, practicing your handheld for a long period of time will get you more steady with it. I found that more weight helps too. More weight helps if you've got a heavier camera. Like, if you, if you yeah. try to hold something light really steady, you, it's you like a like little your, bit of your shake. Little, little movements make more of an impact. Whereas so. if you hold something heavier, it's a bit easier to hold. So More being, so like you don't want to like lock your elbows and like tense up and you wiggle. You kind of like... Like you can also get a gimbal, which is nice. 
and, but they're a pain to set up for run and gun, where as the GH5 has the in-body image stabilization, which is, it works all the time, whatever lens you put on it. But then if you want to like double that smoothness, just shoot in slow-mo or at 60 FPS. For your B-roll, it just takes the, the little movements you have and it makes it like, like it smooths it out by a certain factor. Also, gimbals are getting dummy cheap now. Yeah. You can get gimbals for your phone for like under a hundred bucks now. If you don't necessarily know how to operate a gimbal, they're not necessarily easy to get cinematic shots out of. It's very easy to get the, the gimbal look out of them. We're testing the stabilization. Why is it such a mess? Deal with this now. <laughs> Let's try it. Let me do it. I'll be back. Hey guys, what's up? How's it going? It doesn't turn fast enough. <laughs> but that's what we do. Yeah. Just do, we bought a camera with stabilization in it. Oh, third question from Young Productions. Would you sell your LUTs? I have a hard time finding ones I like, or maybe you could do tutorial videos because the old video quality is A1. First of all, we use basically two LUTs. A modified version of one of the film LUTs that comes with DaVinci Resolve, which you should have. If you don't have DaVinci Resolve, great for color correcting. Isn't it free? It is free. The basic version is free. Get DaVinci Resolve. It's also, I should mention, if you want to get into editing, it also works as an editor and you can do all your color correcting and editing and there's even some After Effects like functionality with Fusion, I think it was. I'm still getting into it, but okay. if you're starting from square one, DaVinci Resolve is not a bad editor. Shot it. I should have probably threw that in there with the uh, what software to use, but... Anyway, the Turbo Cult LUT, the one that you're seeing right now, is a modified version from Lutify. If you go to Lutify and find their free LUTs pack... Link in description. It's one of those. I'll, I'll put the name of it in the description so I don't remember exactly which one. It is. The more important part is uh, Mackenzie asks, my question is, is it too late to ask a question? Yes. Yes. Yeah. I mean, right now, yeah. Except I did answer on Twitter, which was like, no, it's not too late. Well, did they ask a question? Yeah. Well, I said it wasn't too late because I had to go do a Vaseline mask because my skin was terrible before this and we were going to be on camera, so like... I was wondering why you were so shimmery. Yeah. <laughs> it was like, you gotta, I didn't want to bring it up, but I was like, the moisture on, oh, you glowing. You gotta lock it in. Follow-up question, what are your daily skincare routines? Ooh. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Let's start. <laughs> Wimble, what's your skincare routine? Nothing. Yeah. Do you shave? Yes. What sometimes. <laughs> what do you what do you use? What do you I use? I shower. You shower? Do water. You use, just water? Yeah. My skincare routine is none. Absolutely none. I don't even get my face wet in the shower. Alright. I take a shower. I put up my hair and I go in the shower and I wash my pits and I wash everything below here, but above the knees, and I figure the soap gets the rest. Not a single product has touched my hair or face in years. I break out once in a while if I eat like McDonald's like more than two days in a row. Maybe you shouldn't eat McDonald's. But other than that. You gotta get like moisturizing everything for one, because my skin is terrible and dry 100% of the time, no matter what I do or how much water I drink. Drinking water all the time should be your number one though. Moisturizing body wash, chemical exfoliator, just a bunch of Vanna cream for everything. Put it everywhere, why not? Maybe a, maybe a, maybe a thin layer so you don't get Overhydrated. <laughs> Drink it. Moisturize your guts. Yeah. Rub motor oil on your face. Two stroke specifically. Two stroke oil. It's thinner. You don't want. A little goes a long way. Yeah. Don't. Um, okay, but don't do that. David Thompson <laughs> asks, "When are we making comedy videos? I'm counting on you to boost my acting career." Oh, like with David? I guess. Hit us up. Yeah, talk to us. Let's do it. Just come on to Say Cloud with an idea, and we'll probably do the rest. <laughs> Yeah. If anybody doesn't know, we did a, a promo for one of their shows with David in it. You're gonna die, boy. Oh, you guys are gonna get cut today. I learned this in Truth the Dragon. I'll, I'll kill, kill you. I'll shoot you. You're not gonna you fucking kill Wait! I'm your dad! Who's dad? All of yours. Dad? Dad? Dad! Uh, Hate to see all of my sons fighting. I just want all four of your bands to play together on Father's Day. Dylan asks, Brick, I know you have a lot of cameras, but which one is your favorite? That's a tough question. I thought about this question ever since I read it, and like, I, the one I use now? I mean, like, I have a bunch of film cameras, they all do the same thing. They all just, it's all a big body that holds film in it, and it opens. At that point, it's kind of like, it's like cars, right? They all it's, get you from place to place. It's which one is the most fun? Yeah, but I guess 
So right now my favorite camera is the one I use all the time, and it's the big boy. <laughs> There's no markings on it. I've covered everything up because I'm edgy and cool. It's the Canon 5D Mark II. It's good, it's full frame, it's kind of old, the workflow kind of sucks, and the autofocus kind of sucks. But the image quality is... Image quality is amazing. If you don't know cameras, that's like pro level cameras, like professionals were using this camera. And I would not, I would not suggest this to a beginner, mostly because of the autofocus points. It's one of those deals where it's got, so there's one here, well, there's, one here there's one here, there's one here, there's one here, and there's one here. I did a shoot not thinking about that, and like almost none of the faces were in focus. Because if one of the points isn't on the face, it can't focus on the face, it can only focus on those points. So like the last shoot I did, I had to make sure that one of the dots was on the f eyeballs. Might be upgrading soon. <laughs> The Jet asks, have y'all ever thought about making short horror skits? We did. We did. Yeah. Wait, they how haven't many? seen that. The, the lights out one. We started to shoot March Madness. We had this idea for a thing that was going to be like all of March. And also we ran out of ideas after the first video. But well, here, watch. Look at this. Here, look at this. Short this is... Alright, so, content. Go. What's up, Ben? Bring you too far away, I can't hear you. Do we get to figure out what's in the attic or what? Yeah. How long have we, how long have we been here? <sighs> since, you guys have been here since August. Since hot times. Hot times. That's my favorite pair of horses. <laughs> That's my favorite newspaper. This is not a comedy channel. But yeah, we wanted to find out what's in the air, if anything. What are your guesses? Insulation. Maybe a box. No My insulation. guess is no insulation. Actually, no roof. It's just the open air. <laughs> That's why everything's so cold all the time. I have not actually seen this. Oh, it's not like one of those. Welcome to my room, Cribs. It's not like one of those where you pull down a ladder. It's, I don't think so. It's just a tiny square. It's just a tiny square. We need a tall, a tall hole. Excuse me, sir. Always hydrate before exploring attics. Come look quick. He was sitting here, but the the heat vent. That was a hot mucho mango. Here, just. Not Just tall. point the camera up there. Mm -hmm. I can't see. It's still, it's too dark. Hang on. I think Jay's got a... Is there a flashlight? Hey. Oh, it's going great. Oh. Sure, was, sure was a short horror film. Yeah, is that was supposed to be the intro to a vlog that we weren't going to address and the rest of the vlog was going to be normal. Oh, Vogler commented, Beamer? <laughs> <laughs> Which I assume is what's happening with the BMW. It's currently being moved from the old garage to a different garage so I can work on it. I don't know what's wrong with it quite yet. It's either the throw out bearing is boring. It'll be fixed soon. Shut up. Dylan asks, are there any plans for another Dolphin Party album? We've been talking about it. Also, Dolphin Party, that took place over the course of like a year. That was a long time. It was also the byproduct of none of us being happy with anything that was going on at all. Like, <laughs> Things are looking up. We're not depressed enough to make music anymore. We have an actual YouTube channel. Like, this was all pre. We finished the very end of Dolphin Party after we moved in. What was the first thing? The very was first the, thing was I did Nobody's Answering. Nobody's answering it was for I, a weekly song. I it? sent it to Wimble. It was when I was doing weekly songs yeah. on YouTube. And I sent it to Wimble and he sent me back some straight fire. And I'm like, this can't just be a weekly release. This has to be an actual thing now. Yeah. To answer your question though, Probably. wait till everything goes wrong in all of our lives. Our, don't worry. And we start <laughs> drinking a lot more. Yeah. And I have to drink more? <laughs> this isn't a question, but you guys should do more videos with the old gaming PC you had in a couple episodes. I did just bring that up the stage. We just we'll brought it up before this video. So it still exists. It needs, I, here's what happened. I found a ton of really cool for the era graphics cards. I bought a bunch of them for like five bucks each. And then I kept putting them in and discovering that, oh, this one's too new for this operating system, or this one has a bunch of artifacts on the screen. It needs a couple of repairs, or I can just stick the old graphics card back in it. But it's still there. There will be more videos eventually. Ah, we'll just play Minecraft. We're now a Minecraft Let's Play channel. Should we ask about that? Ask just like, we thought about doing some gaming content. Do you guys want us to not put any gaming content on the Turbo Cult channel? Or if we do some Let's Plays and do a highlight, because we're, we're playing the games anyways, might as well do something with it. Um. There is one more uh, from Dylan, although it's not for us. It's for Sicy. Mm -hmm. 
So real quick, pause the video if that went badly. If not, Wedding, 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 wedding ring O's. I accidentally did a good one. So thanks, special thanks to Dylan and Sicey for their longtime viewership and their engagement. Hopefully, engagement. Hopefully, <laughs> their incredible it. support of this channel at all times. We love you. Have a good wedding. What do we? How do we end this? Uh, nice, nice. If you want to, uh... Last week, Wimble, <laughs> YouTube, Ben, ah, subscribe, ah, me. Help! Get this thing off of me! I'm stuck behind the box! <laughs> Thanks have... for watching. To see what the worst bit we can come up with every week is. Oh my God.